Oh no, Atari again. What are we doing? <laughs> oh yeah, I I kind of like going in from the very start here because I the retro aesthetic that they've got going on here. Um, in the Atari Vault opening is just very fun. So, last week, um, for the first episode of Year 3, uh, we decided to do Pong. Um, and you know what? We had some fun with it. I mean, it was Pong, so we only had so much fun with it, but, uh, yeah. um, yeah, we just, <laughs> we decided to stick with it, and we're gonna be doing a little bit more of the Atari Vault. I don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah. We may go back to Diablo before too long, but, uh, for the moment, so last time we played, we played Pong, and uh, and and our best buddy plural um, basically told us that uh, Pong is boring, um, which is he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Um, Pong but he is said he likes Super Breakout. So, so that's this what we're is doing this week. Fault. There you go. <laughs> now you know who to blame for this. Yeah. There Actually, you go. Actually, Super Fucking... Breakout is way more fun than Pong. It's true. Well, there's more to do, right? It's yeah. not just you versus some other um, dot. Oh shit, so, here we go! Yeah, now, I mean, as with most ancient um, Atari games, the uh, visuals are not going to be super impressive. Are there not? Uh, nor is what the do you audio. Mean? This is pretty impressive. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh shit. I mean, shit. You know, for its day, certainly. Look what you did. You did the old yeah. the old side thing of a jogger jiggy thingy. Yeah, the, si- the sideways boop. The sideways boop. I'm going to look up some facts about the game Super Breakout. Oh, do it. Because God knows we have to fill this time somehow. We and do. it sure won't be with entertaining gameplay. Not no, saying no. you're not good, but, you know. Um, it's got yeah, this, this so skill is a little hard to translate to good viewing did, in this. Um, did Super Breakout come standard as a... Fuck. As a game on, uh, like, the Mac and stuff like that back in the day? Um, Super Breakout was released on 126 different machines. Oh, wait, wait, oh, like, this is This is the arcade version. Iterations? Yeah. Of, oh, Jesus, of Super Breakout? Um, okay. or 126 different uh, arcade machines. No, it, shit. Well, all right, all right. It's a micro. Like either that's a really small run or a, a really large run. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's it's the Wikipedia page is unclear. Mm. Uh, but it is a microprocessor based game instead of discrete logic. Uh, right, which most of them were back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And it's programmed by Asteroids programmer Ed Log. Uh, Good used, old Ed. Yeah, you. Yeah. Ed the Log Log. That's what they called him. <coughs> and who log. could blame them? The man was a true log. Let's see. He's he's the one they named logarithms after. There you go. Don't think so, but good guess. He had the rhythm. Ah, <laughs> Ed Logarithm. Yeah, man. All right. Well, we've just lost everybody, so. Oh, yeah. Using an early MOS. Uh, Moss? Yeah, 6502 chip, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Uh, He developed Super Breakout. Oh, shit. After hearing that Nolan Bushnell, the founder of Atari, wanted a breakout updated. So he just did it. Founder of both Atari and Chuck E. Cheese. Wow. I did not know that he founded both. Yep. Well, sh- yeah, sure. Good old, good old Bushy Bushnell was, uh, Bushy was a Bush- serial entrepreneur. <laughs> you're just uh, you're full of nicknames have you, tonight. Have you not? Have you not seen this dude? Oh man, he's got yeah. He had a beard to end all beards, man. He was he um, was Bushy Bushnell. Yeah. Oh geez, the speed went up crazy. Oh shit. Um, oh shit. You hit you hit red. Fuck, that's fuck, why. Fuck, fuck. Is it the red? Is, did the red do that? You think? Um. Yeah, it's the definitely the red. Yes, definitely it did. The red. Okay. Oh shit, man! Wow, wow. no, no I, I fucked right up. You did, you did. Give it another shot. Give it another shot. All right, all right. Uh, so he wanted uh, breakout updated. So this guy was just like, "Yeah, sure, I'll make a new breakout." You know, I don't have to ask anyone. I'll just do it. You know, back in the day, man. So he did it. There um, were no, like, yeah, there were no licenses or anything like that. So. No, fuck it. Just I'll just I'll make breakout. 
Yeah. So super. I love break the old of- Atari days. It was super Wild West back then. Um, yeah. I'm so like, he he, he he sorry he uh he, he it, Super Breakout is featured in a number of different Atari compilation packs due to the relative ease one. of yeah emulating its CPU based hardware compared to the original game's design. It's easy to emulate. No, oh. because of the way it was programmed, I guess. Right, it's just a board. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. Like, yeah, so so as Matt was saying, this game was all basically hardware based. Um, and so, like, what that really came down to basically was you had like an arcade machine, and then there was a dedicated circuit board, and that circuit board was designed with the game's logic on it, right? Um, and that's actually um, where Ms. Pac Man came from, uh, which is actually also uh, the first instance of video game modding ever. Uh, yeah, there a, yeah. There was a company called General Computer, um, who basically just want they like they were just hobbyists. Um, but apparently, like there was a uh, Pac-Man game at like a nearby bar or something like that. I guess right uh, as the story goes, where they um, she oh man, you were doing so well. <laughs> where um, yeah, basically they they took apart this uh, Pac-Man covered. And uh, they just added some some stuff to the board, like they literally they literally modded the board. They hacked uh, some additional like logic into it, made the the individual levels a little bit more complicated. Um, and yeah, and added Pac-Man the bow. Was born. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it was not even, fuck that that was that's a that one is a waste. Here I'm I'm resetting that one. Oh Jesus, good um, idea, good idea. Yeah. Uh yeah man um and like yeah the first uh first instance of like video game related lawsuit as well uh surrounding Ms. Pac-Man too because it wasn't created by the original owner of uh, Pac-Man it was just a mod and so yeah they uh they eventually um settled is there and a narrative canon for Pac-Man like the like there being a story around yeah. Pac-Man? Uh, I think one was created after the fact. Right, and I am almost sure that that Mrs. Well, Pac-Man was added to that. Oh yeah, no, she's officially part of it, but I think that there was only story really added um, after Ms. Pac-Man became a thing, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because there's like Baby Pac-Man too, right? Yeah. There was an old, um... um I think it was in the late eighties, early nineties, uh Pac Man cartoon. Yeah, there was. Yeah. I had um It was also a really awful um adventure game. Oh, really? Oh, God, yeah. ew. Unlike the Super Nintendo, I think, maybe. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Alright, you're good, you're good. Now you got double the pleasure, double the fun. You're in for a treat. Extra flavor. Extra, extra fun. fun. An extra sugar-free gum. Extra free for for the... Oh, God, they're all going. They're all going at once. Okay, that didn't last long. All right, you're down to one. Oh. Completely fucked it up. Jesus, man. It's okay. Jesus, man. When it starts hitting that red, it's kind of of brutal. Yeah, man. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Typically. There's not much you can do. I wonder, can, is there a glitch in this one like there was in Pong? In Pong? Oh, well, I don't know. It seems pretty solid as as it goes so far. It doesn't really like to bounce around inside, uh, unlike later iterations of uh, Breakout. Which yeah. Because um, I was, uh, I, I always enjoyed where you would like get it into like a block and then it would just start bouncing around like a motherfucker up there. This like, one doesn't I really mean, do that. Yeah, c- common strategy in in modern breakout, of course, is to like get up onto like the top plane and just let it go. Um, and I'm just doing terribly now. It's um, all right. It's all right. But yeah, this one like one bounce and then it starts going like back downward, right? So you pretty much you have one brick per bounce, effectively, or so far that seems to be the case. Well, there's no real physics at work here. 
No, not really, probably. It's like, oh, just dis destroy brick, then change velocity to downward. Or something. Ooh, that was lucky. Mm-hmm. I was I would I contemplated saying it was skill, but it really wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. It's going right through it can go right through the corners of blocks too, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, did you ever get close on that one? <laughs> well. Oh gee Willikers, man. I you seem were doing to... so well in Super Breakout. I know. In the original Breakout, wasn't the platform bigger? The bounce platform? Quite possibly. That um, looks tiny. Uh, most... Oh, jeez. Uh, mo most Breakouts that I've done, uh, or that I've played, ha have been significantly, like... Um, well, they've they've had a lot more going on. Yeah. Like, you could get board... Uh, or, sorry, paddle power-ups and stuff like that. Um, you get like a larger paddle. There's even be like breakout games where like you get to shoot from the paddle and stuff like that. There's, like a weird breakout space invaders thing. Yeah, yeah. There's been all kinds of iterations. Um, it's been uh, it's been it's been crazy days. There's uh yeah breakout man. It was it was first released. The first breakout was released on May 13th, 1976. That's a is, long fucking time ago. Which is crazy. So, it's we missed the 30th anniversary by a year. We did. That's Sorry, okay. Sorry, 40th. Yeah, and um the original iPod had an Easter egg where you could hold down the center button for a few seconds in the about menu and breakout would appear. That's awesome. I which is if that's still there somewhere. Which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, man. Considering... I'd play Breakout on my iPhone. Yeah, considering that... Uh, Fuck. Steve uh, Wozniak. Was the Woz. Of, yeah, he was one of the designers for this game. Was he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that, that that's another one of those, like, factolits. <laughs> Um, yeah, basically the entire founding, uh, team of Atari, or of, uh, Apple were all, um, Atari programmers. There you go. Jobs and the Waz and, and all those dudes. Yeah, they were, uh, they were Atari programmers that were fed up with, uh, basically getting no, uh, no recognition for their shit. That's also sort of how Activision came around as well, like. Activision was the first third-party game to develop oh. on Atari, or first, first company to do third-party software on Boo. Atari, which, of course, Atari was totally not down with, because right. Um, right, they wanted to have a uh, monopoly on what you could release on that. And then I was like, well, I guess anybody can develop on this, but there was a big old lawsuit, and I forget whether it was like six months or something like that, that it was in deliberation, and... But they, yeah, they eventually settled on having to pay license fees, right? I guess. But yeah, it was uh, it was quite a story. I and, and if you're interested in knowing more about the uh, the story of Atari and um, sort of how it all went to shit eventually, um, I did uh, an episode about that on uh, Level Zero Game Dev uh, on our Thursday segment before we switched over to Level Zero Game you Dev. You did not that far, yeah. Man, it's worth watching because I did it. <laughs> it's worth watching because I did it. That's right. Well, uh, you didn't win, but no. I mean, did you expect me to win though? I, I don't mean... know. No, I didn't. What happens if you, if you not... clear this board? Isn't there just another board that's harder? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there, there was, there was very little by way of like actual, um reward to get it to doing very well in these it's it's surprising that uh the video games were as like popular as they were when you consider that there's very little really to be gained in one of these older things i mean i guess it was super novel back in the day and you know yeah. it was all ping pong and shit like that but uh here you go well, well thank you, you go, for everybody. for joining us everybody that was super breakout 
um, the original Super Breakout. Uh, next week, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll do out. Diablo again. Maybe we'll do in another Atari Classic. Yeah, I, centipede or something. Who knows? Who knows? You hey, right mm-hmm. below. Tell us what you want. Yeah, what what Atari Classic would you like to see? Hopefully, one that's on Atari Vault so that I can actually find play it without having to search for it. No, no, no. You you whatever you want, we'll make it happen. It's true. You can. We'll make it. We'll, we will make it happen. We will. We will fucking yeah. do what we have to. Yeah. yeah. yeah.